Today I explain how to generate a digital life certificate using Jeevan Praman mobile application. It has only four steps. That are. Step 1, download and install Adidar Face RD app from Google Play Store. Step 2, download and install Jeevan Praman Face application. Step 3, operator authentication, this is a one-time process. Pensioner can be the operator as well. Step 4, Pensioner Authentication, fill in the pensioner details and add our based face authentication of pensioner. Now I will explain these steps one by one. Step 1, Download and install add our face RD app from Google Play Store. Open Google Play Store, search for add our face RD. Install the add our face RD. If you face any issue in locating the app in Play Store kindly refer to slide number 10. This application is for Android users only the Adidar Face RD is not shown like other apps and has no icon. The app is visible in settings. App info as shown in the image. Step 2. Open Google Play Store, search for Jivan Praman Face app. Install the application. Screenshot for reference is shown. After you have successfully installed the Jivan Praman Face application, run the application. The screen as shown on the left appears. Click on yes to proceed further. A pop-up will appear asking for permissions. You need to allow the permissions in order to run the application. Click on while using the app to proceed further. Next another pop-up will appear asking for more permissions. Click on allow. Any person can act as an operator. The pensioner can also act as an operator. The operator needs to enter his editor number, mobile number, and email address and click on submit. The mobile number need not be linked with editor, you can enter any mobile number but make sure you have it as you will receive an OTP on the mobile and email ID provided. Step 3. Operator Authentication. This is a one-time process. The application is bilingual. You can select English or Hindi from the drop-down at the top right corner the figure shows how the application looks like in Hindi language. After the operator has entered the details, he will receive an OTP on his mobile number as well as on email. Enter any one of the OTP received and then click on submit button. If OTP is not received, please click on resend OTP. After successful OTP validation the screen shown on left appears. The operator needs to enter name and give consent for authentication by clicking on the checkbox. Click on scan button to proceed towards face scan. Next a pop-up appears asking if you want to proceed with face scan. Click on yes to proceed further. The screen shows the instructions for face authentication. Read the instructions properly. Click on the checkbox and then click on proceed. You can use the front or rear camera to capture the face. The screen shows the instructions you need to follow while scanning face like hold still and blink your eyes. Follow the instructions that appear on the screen to successfully complete the face authentication process. After you have successfully authenticated yourself through face scan, the application restarts itself and a toast is shown client registration successful which states that the operator registration is successful. Step 4. Pensioner Authentication. Next the pensioner authentication screen will open. Now whenever you run the application the pensioner authentication screen will open. The pensioner should enter his or her editor number and mobile number. The email address is optional. Next click on the submit button you will receive an OTP on the entered mobile number and email. Enter the OTP received and click on submit button to proceed further. If OTP is not received, please click on resend OTP. After successful OTP validation the screen shown on left appears. The screen will be either blank or will have profiled details as shown in the next slide. Enter all the details correctly. Incorrect information will lead to rejection of Jivan Praman by the Pension Dispersing Agency. In case you get the screen with profiled details, select the desired PPO number. From the drop-down, 
or you can select add new pension PPO number in list for yourself if your required PPO number is not appearing in list. In case user selects a PPO number, he can modify all the details except PPO number. In case you select add new pension PPO number in list for yourself the non-filled pensioner authentication screen is displayed and user is required to fill all details. After entering all the details tick both the check boxes stating that the information entered is accurate. Click on submit button to proceed further. After you click on submit button a pop-up will appear as show in figure on the left. The pop-up asks the pensioner whether he slash she wants to add another PPO number pension apart from the one which has already been entered. In case user clicks on yes the user will be taken to the pensioner details screen, as shown on previous page, and the pensioner is required to fill all the details regarding the PPO number that we want to add. The screen shows all the PPO numbers selected by the pensioner for digital life certificate generation. The pensioner needs to tick the checkbox in order to give consent. Click on scan button to proceed further. Next, a pop-up appears asking if the pensioner wants to proceed towards face scan. Click on yes to proceed further. The screen shows the instructions you need to follow while scanning face. It shows if the lighting is poor or if camera is moving and not stable etc. It will show hold still and blink your eyes when the lighting is right and the camera is stable. Follow the instructions shown on the screen to successfully complete the face authentication process. Once face authentication is successful, the DLC, Jivan Praman is successfully generated and appears on the screen as shown. The screen shows the Praman ID for each PPO number. The pensioner shall also receive a SMS on the mobile number provided during pensioner authentication, the SMS contains the Praman ID and the link from which the DLC can be downloaded. For proper results ensure. 1. Position, for capturing facial image, it is advisable that adjust the camera at the right distance or in the right posture. 2. Frontal pose needs to be captured, that is. No head rotation or tilt. The pensioner should be instructed to be seated properly with their back upright and their face towards the camera. 3. It is strongly recommended that the face should be captured with neutral, non-smiling, expression, teeth closed, and both eyes open and looking into the camera. 4. Illumination, poor illumination has a high impact on the performance of face recognition. Proper and equally distributed lighting mechanism should be used such that there are no shadows over the face, no shadows in eye sockets, no light exactly above the can cause shadows. Light should be diffused and placed in front of the pensioner so that there are no shadows under the eye. 5. Eye glasses, if the person normally wears glasses, it is recommended that the photograph be taken with glasses. However, the glasses should be clear and transparent. Dark glasses slash tinted glasses should be taken off before taking the photograph. Thank you for watching this video. Help your friends by sharing this information. See you again with another useful video. Have a nice time.